Hello everyone! In today's video, I wanted to provide some quick information about my favorite silver to stack. 90% silver coins. 90% silver coins from 1964 or earlier, dimes, quarters, or half dollars in the U.S. were composed of 90% silver by weight. Our currency nowadays, folks, no precious metal at all. It's kind of a sad state. But I love the history of it, and I love that it's real money because it contains silver. But I'm going to give you some quick information on it and talk to you about the amazing opportunity to stack and stock up on this type of precious metal because premiums are about as low as they've been in four to five years. So it's a great opportunity to stock up on the cheap. Be sure to stick around. So as I said, one of my favorite things to stack, probably my most favorite actually, is 90% silver coins whether it be mercury silver dimes, which I love. And honestly, they're one of the most popular things in my shop. I tend to run out of these, but I have a very, very good supply on hand right now. Also, silver quarters. These are actually already put in $10 face value bags. My friend James helped me do that. So they're already pre-counted, but we have silver quarters as well. And just for this example, I brought out Franklin half dollars, quite honestly, because that's what I had the most of, and I think it looks cool if you dump some in a bin. So, but anyway, it's not just Mercury dimes, it's also Roosevelt dimes, and it's not just Franklin halves, it's also Kennedy halves and Walking Liberty halves that comprise what we call 90% silver, or junk silver, or constitutional silver, or pre-1965 silver. It has a lot of different names, but it all means the same thing. So why do people buy this, you might ask? Well. I love it because it's fractional. So we'll see how I did here. Um, five, eight, 10, look at that. I grabbed 14 dimes just in a quick handful. So in my hand here, 14 dimes has exactly one ounce, one troy ounce of 999 pure silver. Now I mentioned that these are 90% silver by weight, but if you were to melt these down and separate out the metal, you would have one ounce of pure silver in your hand right here. So every, for every $1.40 face value in any mixture of dimes, quarters, or halves, you are gonna have one ounce of pure silver. So the nice thing about it, and I know not everybody buys into this and believes this, and I'm not sure I do either, quite frankly, but I'd rather be prepared, is if the world is on fire, our currency collapses, and now we have to use metal to barter, a 100 ounce silver bar or a 10 ounce silver bar isn't gonna be necessarily practical for small purchases. So that's why you own this stuff, folks. It's real money, it's recognized as such, and it's silver. So in my hand here, I have 14 possibilities for separate transactions by buying these dimes, you know, versus having a one ounce silver round that you can buy for actually a little bit more than 14 of these dimes today. Um, you don't have that uh, bartering power to do small transactions. Let's just say you have to buy a loaf of bread. And a loaf of bread costs, you know, let's just say for easy math, $2. Well, boom, that's one silver dime today. If you just have silver rounds or larger silver bars, how are they gonna make change? Now granted, I don't think we're ever gonna get to that point. I pray and hope that we don't. But it's always best to prepare for the worst and pray it doesn't happen. I truly believe that. So that's why I'm buying this stuff. And even if I never need to use it for bartering, it's still silver, folks. And as I said here in my hand, there's $1.40 face equals one ounce of pure silver. And it's any way you want to mix it up. You know, obviously you can't get to $1.40 by using half dollars, but you could use, you know, you could do one half dollar, two quarters, and four dimes. You still got your one ounce. The premiums on 90% silver are lower than they've been in several years. In fact, you can buy one ounce of 90% silver coinage, which is $1.40 face, for less than you can buy a one ounce silver round today. Not only do you have the same amount of silver, but you have the fractionality of it. So, for what it's worth, I'm buying and stacking 90% silver now. I believe it's a great investment, even if you don't need to use it for bartering. It's always recognizable, and it's something you can always trade with. You can sell to coin shops. And like I said, it is real money. In worst case, it's a dime. It has face value. It's legal tender as well. Although you'd never want to spend it as 10 cents, you most definitely could. 
But if you have any questions on why you should stack 90% silver or questions about it, please leave it down in the comments. I love answering questions and helping to educate the public. If uh, you want to pick some up, feel free to contact me. My contact information is in the video description. We do have a very good supply of 90% silver on hand, so if you want to pick some up, be sure to get in touch. But I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, consider clicking that subscribe button. Any interaction you have with this video, whether it be a like, a share, a comment, click the subscribe, really helps smaller channels like mine get into the algorithm, which gets the information out to more people. And uh, really the whole purpose and point of my channel is education. So with that, I'll let you go. But thanks for tuning in. 90% silver. It's a great buy today. Have a great day.